how they're gonna be able to go with the draft. And if Heroic are gonna be able to take it or Spirit will find a game one. Keep in mind, of course, it is a best of two. No more best of threes with us entering into the group stages. Yeah, in a game like this, let, let's see what he can do. Like, Vessel is going to be really nice versus the aura items that the Darkseid is going to build. Speaking of the Darkseid, Collapse. Might actually give up our first blood. They're going to have a, a bunch of slows with the blood grenades. Another round of the Rocket Barrage shortly. And KJ is going to draw first blood. Maybe some damage onto Mira. I think this is ambitious to get the kill, but... You bring him down low. Yeah, not a good time for Coral. Yeah, not a good time at all. Top lane once again, Yator. Looks like there'll be a return kill from either side. Inkswell is going to connect. Divide Lama needs one more. Horned hits, apparently. Just a headbutt. Sort of a smack of the wrist or something like that. So. I love I love the animations in Dota. Like how we have some random leg kick and whatnot. Toss back on the Luna bot lane. Oh, they're in trouble with the TP rotation. They might both die on Spirit if they don't get quickly get the kill into K1, which they will, but it's not going to matter in the end. Another round of the Rocket Barrage. And this was exactly what I was speaking about inside the draft. Those two points Rocket Barrage give you so much potential for the turnaround. They're making a lot of stacks on uh, the dire side as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Heroic playing incredibly fast and look not even required really for that kill and at least snatch some of this uh, experience but he is counted can they connect on the stun let's see wait oh the bylama actually wants to go in spies a bit of a freebie onto Maposka. so there will be a exchange in the end like it's yep. much better now i feel like with the goal that it's giving you mid lane oh mid lane would be a huge kill and they should be able to get it. Divide Llama looking to assist his team. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> like, what is that damage? They may take way too much map before the leaner is really a big threat. And it's seeming like that might be the case because Analog yeah, and KJ. This is deep, though. Collapse is ready for the vacuum under the T2 tower. Back won't even look to go for it now. They'll split away. Divide Lama gets a bit of a glimpse onto Lal, and they're going to dive and look again at the burst. Anyone reveals himself for a split second. They are blown up from 4 to 0. I mean, even Yator is rotating. I think Blink is getting delivered on the Korya, but unfortunately, it's just a couple of seconds too late. Heroic have already repositioned. They're going in. Oh, besides K1, he's got a big one. Eclipse as well, but the boys playing behind him. They're going to turn it. Well, there's nothing they need to worry about. Soul by for the double pulverize heroic. Welcome Dude. to the massacre. What's happening to Spirit? This is just insane. And also, you talked about the blink dagger on DK. Well, Primal Beast has got one as well. This is. I don't, know. I don't know what they're going to be able to do. He's dead as well. And instantly, you see the Kotal coming in. Instant. Oh boy, this is not the ideal way <laughs> and how you'd like to start your tournament, unfortunately for Spirit. Yeah, because Mira, I'm not sure what the plan was. Mm. Dark Series Collapse coming. is going to run in. That Phantom's Embracer for the Tiny is so frustrating, so Wall is going to be used. Collapse is trying to run down Schofield. They're going to be cautious if they step a bit too far over. The backstab is coming from Analog, and now Divide Lama just sums back in. You'll cancel the Pulverize, but it, oh, it's just, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, they're, they're being crushed right now. And now yeah. lol, KJ with the invis, or Glimmer Cape, in fact. He, he's running this could for be like, a solo he, kill. No way he's going to solo kill him. Okay, a bit of an awkward cooldown usage. Analog is here, though. Yatoro is going to be able to slow him down. They got him. Divide Llama jumps out from nowhere. Now no, they're going to go for Yatoro as well. Quick timing onto the blink, but they're not done. They will hunt a TP out. Any cancel, there will not be. But a couple of minutes going to get delayed. Mirror is going to be able to farm another wave down bottom. Lull over at the Ancients. Getting close Can towards the Can they catch Collapse? Nice so they vacuum. should be able to. Yeah. Embrace is also so annoying for the Darks here. A lot of heroes that... Don't have too fun of a time into the pesky sound, so collapse will go down. Mid lane as well, they see Lal. KJ is in. Uh oh. Analog's gonna be able to TP. This time the cooldown is much better position. 
Well, at least we'll be able to escape and doesn't have to use that freshly completed BKB. Absolutely no one showing anywhere on the map, so because of that maybe it's a bit easier, but the wraparound will happen. Alright, how can they start? Yeah. Do they really want to go on K1 with the Aegis? Smoke's gonna pop. Maybe we'll get the Kitchi's jump from the support. Kill. That's not bad, that is not bad. Can Klima kill will make it really difficult though. Lol has to use a BKB to just get the kill and... Now it means it's a BKB where he's not retreating or, or right-clicking at all, because K1's gonna be able to enter pretty shortly. And with the Eclipse damage, they should be able to continue to chase me. Well, Divine Lama. Lama also wants to catch up to Lal. Inside the river, though, K1 by himself, collapsing your Toro. I mean, you're fighting to the Asia's advantage. K1 now has Analog to play with as well. They're going to be Dude. able to vacuum him back. Yeah, Dude, you Divine did with the Aegis, but it doesn't matter in the end. Collapse. Oh, what's going on inside the base? Divine Lama he still didn't get He's continuing to chase. I, I think it will get, like, we will see that shard, though. And then as soon as you come out of banishment, you'll just activate the shard and... You lose the illusions and all of a sudden the value of the SD is going to feel a little bit lackluster. Jump in your Toro. Well, they tried onto KJ last time. Looks like if they're able to bring him down before the Glimmer Cape, it'll be a bit easier. Not to fight Llama's looking to enter. So, geez, I don't know. It's looking messy with the pulverized mechanic with the, the soul bind, but regardless, it works out into their favor. Beyond godlike here for Analog. K1 Mice will also be able to catch Collapse. Everyone else is a little bit too far away. They've got to make sure they're not close enough so they get hit by it, though. I don't know what the range is. Yeah, they, they should know. They should know. They sh yeah, exactly. Dubai Lama, Dubai Lama oh look at that. God. What a read. Pulverize. They're all clumped up. And again, this is a defensive BKB from Lull. And now they are aware. Mirror's going to try and get the jump. I mean, maybe Dubai nice Lama, right? Doors. BKB is expired. That's a big target if they're going to be able to kill him, but can they kill him is really the question, and they can't even. Glimmer Cape again protecting them all. It's such an awkward location for a fight. In this close proximity area, this is where Collapse should shine, but they're just <laughs> too far behind to get Those anything going. Illusions, KJ though. will still die. Now your is going to try and run out of the base. Probably give it up. Let's see. Let's see what they do. They're actually uh, TPing back. Yatoru is cutting. Actually, they don't have a glyph, though, to deal with this way. But ten oh, Maposhka? At least he got the Lunar Illusions, but... Yeah, okay, they're gone straight away. <laughs> yeah, they didn't last that long. He's got the Glaives now. That shard really making quick work of them. And this is also something we talked about. The, the adjustments that players make so quickly. They're very on point. Gleipnir misses. Oh, Mira. Okay. Maybe a toss back? Toss back. Instant BKB. K1's not even going to give them that opportunity to maybe play with the toss back. Divine Lama attempts as well with the pulverize. No slow to swords going to protect Lal. Divine Lama's stuck deep inside, but are they actually going to be able to capitalize? Nice it's a pretty good vacuum. Avalanche to follow as well. Two heroes vulnerable now. Lal's having a decent though. fight on the Lina. We are actually finally starting to see some of the damage output once Lal is able to stand strong, but... I don't know if they're going to be able to get more. Yator is attempting quick Glimmer Cape, and now he may have gone too far, so has the BKB to work with. Heroic There's that dragon form. The Back illusion. in they go if they want to. Dude, the illusion is just destroying Shadow Demon. Uh, Look at this. Uh, he has to run. Ah, oh, yikes. Okay, it will die in the end. They don't have the Coddle Recall. Oh, he's got the outpost in mind. Doesn't matter. back. That's a oh, long whoa, toss. Whoa, 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 what happened? Nice blink from your Toro, and... Has he got BKB? He does, okay. He's got BKB. Meanwhile, Divai Lama's gonna catch Mira over to the left side. So it looks like Divai Lama should be able to get a solo kill. Maybe the pipe from Collapse is enough to keep Mira alive. Can he get another toss before his death? Sends him away. Unfortunately, it doesn't put him in a position where they're gonna be able to get some kills. Meanwhile, as well, Maposhka does also go down to Schofield. Wait, 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 that's... No! Oh, I <laughs> ran into the beam. They're gonna try and jump. BKB. Is it enough damage, Low, Standing strong. Lotus are once again is gonna be able to protect him, but once K1 activates the Eclipse, he's gonna be able to run forward. Just the raw net worth lead. It's too much. The vacuum is nice, but that's it does key. not matter in the end. K1. Ooh! Okay, they got him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, we got a rapier. Oh, wait, Lord Arabia? Okay, I didn't even know that. Did he? He must have. 
Why did I think they have Mexico? I'm insane. Anyways, Mira is up. And so is Yatoro. Goes back. Well, they're gonna lose Mira, unfortunately, for his efforts. Oh, they sh might have to damage for KJ. Maybe the fireball, Yatoro, well. can he get in range? All right, they got him. Just siege with it if you want. They really don't have to commit oh anything. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh, Luna's oh. in. Oh! oh. oh <laughs> god damn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the illusion. <laughs> oh, I did the right lava doing this thing. Oh, Mira jump in. Memo as well. Lol. It's going to be okay, actually. K1 was a little bit hesitant to continue. Running down the lean up. Thrones exposed. They want kills. Or they can win the game, whatever they want. K1's gonna turn to the Ancient. Meanwhile, Dubai Lama just wants to, to add the, to the tally. It's a good vacuum, but there's no follow up. Jeez, a cold spirit. Yeah, uh, not geez. the game they would hope to remember. Yeah, Team Spirit, they start off this uh, best of two series the same way OG finished their last one. Especially when I look at KJ and see that he level one nature attendance. So he will. Like, this allows you to, to trade a little bit better level 1, but at the same time, uh, it's super defensive and K1. Look at this. He's dead. Yeah. Well done. Telekinesis into the skew up. That's a big right click as well. Nice high roll. And you know what I mean? Like, you don't have this Tide Mars, something like that on the offlane. Instant Slardar Mira will die. Oh, he had the Lotus too. Huh. He might be able to go back in. Shield crash, go on your Toro. He might still do it. Look at this. Ooh. They're even looking at mid lane as well. Lol. In a lot of trouble with the rotation out of Schofield. Seems like they're lacking just a bit of damage. Okay, KJ again. will be there with the enchant pretty shortly. It's a nice avalanche from Lao, but no one there to TP to, to utilize the, the stun lock under the tower. So they'll get the kill. They'll get a D ward as well. They got the vessel already. And this is a huge kill. Uh, such an if. important kill. Collapse top net worth. You got to get him. Ooh, oh my him. lord, at the buzzer. He's even gonna RP. To the oh, low you're ground. You're not making even. it out. You're Dude. not making it out, unfortunately. So that is a big cooldown. Now for Collapse. <laughs> and a really, really important kill as well for Heroic. Toss back onto the tower, but not enough damage here. Instead, Mira will maybe die. Yeah, I mean, also Lal as well. The White Llama with the Diffusal already, along with the Rolling Thunder. Analog's gonna connect and. I don't know, man. This is starting to look very reminiscent of our previous game. Just taking stacks now as well. This They're is not a good react. spot for them. Yeah, Schofield's going to run into a couple. Does Analog get out, though? Lam might be able to toss him back. In what, wait, Schofield? he's running in. Analog. Schofield's even going to try and drop the kisses on his dying breath. It's a decent chunk Arl? of damage onto La with the vessel still applied. Is that... They're going to get a return kill. Well done. And what, what a good one as well. Troll now is joining in as well. K1. <laughs> Your guaranteed stuns are not really an option. So maybe they're going to look to try and force down KJ some of the objectives. Beat. Collapse mid lane. KJ. Oh, he's fine though. Right, maybe with Yatora it, yeah. here it's a bit of a different story. KJ. Parvis given over the last second. Rolling Thunder is stolen. But the kisses along with the rolling thunder, it's just a great Collapse combination. Gone. It's going to net them the kill onto Mag. Meanwhile, Lyle's still going to be able to reinitiate. Schofield leaps over the Rubik's Cube. And now this is looking scary for Spirit. Even K1's going to look to enter the fray. But Poshka wants to finish Kimplo onto Schofield. Is he even going to be able to get the damage avalanche just Control on the tip will secure it? But it puts Lal in the compromised position where he had to edge too far forward. And that enabled Heroic to instantly turn it back around onto him. A four for one in the end. Realistically, you can blow anyone up. If you manage to... Even, even the Stroll dies before he oh, drops K1. PKBOT. K1. Oh, is he going to get PKB off? Oh, he's too slow. This is a gigantic pick off. And now they're going to get another plus one as well. Divide Lama might be able to get the ultimate. Nice stun from Yatora into the burst. All right. Team Spirit. Nice Get couple back, of catches baby. for them. They have wards to play with. All right, they're going to smoke. I know one on Mirror. I wish got some vision up. to be able to lay down. 10 seconds. 
Let's go field, smoke pops. Oh, dude, that's instant D world. Divide Llama is going to be in. A lot of hate from Maposhka. I don't know if they saw Mirror though before the Glimmer Cape. And now Divide Llama as well inside the bridge. They're actually going to look to try and take the fight off the back of the buyback. Divide Llama is in a bit of an awkward spot now, but. Collapse. We're not going to jump into. Oh, nice cookie! The cookie! Well done. Now, can you protect Divide Llama though? Looks like Spirit hesitant. I mean, Blink's still on cooldown for collapse. Maybe Death they can damage. get it before the retreat on the other side of the bridge, but it's back to safety. And they clumped up. And it's going to run into Animal. them first as well. This is a great pickoff, and they should be able to blow him up. Four to zero, and they get the Pango. Schofield's going to be able to jump in now before the Archbishop shift. K1 rips apart your tour. Well, it's going to be caught as well, but yours, unfortunately... Once K1's ultimate expires, he'll be able to turn instantly back over towards the Tiny. Mirror is here, but uh, maybe Collapse can play nice the edge of the teamfight and find an angle for the RP with the both supports nearby. Collapse as well with a skill up, but you've got to be cautious of the rainbows. KJ's out of mana though, and Collapse. KJ I mean, he should be able to clean this, up. Yeah. And this is a fight that Spirit are going to win with losing Yatora early on and Lal as well, but Collapse's Magnus once again. Mira might die here actually. Let's see. He's gonna have a nuke very soon in one second. Okay, he's good. Boop. When in doubt, pick collapse Magnus. That's literally what it is. Maybe yeah, I don't know. I don't know with the shard. I think they got with, a glimpse of that the agonyms, smoke. Right? Yeah. There we go. In they jump. K1's gonna be able to react to Lincoln's protection to Vilama as well. That's a huge rolling thunder! The chaos! RP is it might not work! K1's almost dying, but he got the battle chance off! Last second ultimate from K1. Now he's gonna be able to stand strong and get you Taurus the damage enough. It's not! The Toro is somehow still alive. Waveform back to the base. And now you just gotta get out. Team Spirit, they buy back on Collapse it. They will keep you Toro alive. Dubai Lama and Analog are actually oh, thinking about standing Laurel? strong on the high ground. Dubai Lama swash back into the middle, collapse. No, the Will of Wisp, not gonna matter. Skewer out into the grasping hands of your Toro. And with the crits raining down, they'll be able to kill Dubai Lama as well. Let's see. Collapse smoked up. I was ready to jump. I'm collapses as well. They're gonna send the creep in for vision. You kind of know, right, though? If you see the creep following you around, they, they smoke up on the other side as well. Look at them. Yeah. They want to, they're recalling the troll. They might get Mira. Or well, they might get Lal instead. Lal, maybe. Lal just jumps straight on top of where Heroga currently smoked, and that is a great pick off if they can kill him. BKB, Lal is out. Great yours from, I believe, Mira to be able to slow down K1. Still there on the hunt. K1's finally going to be able to catch up to the Tiny, so Lal will go down. Where is your Toro? Morphling getting control to the northern side. Schofield's going to be able to land the cookie. Your Toro's still playing with the ages. K1 might be in some danger. BKB already expanded. Clash going to be able to find the RP onto 2K1, though. Activates the battle train. Stands strong. It's a dieback on Collapse. Now the Hex is there as well. And once K1 is locked onto his target, all he's going to be worried about is Mutori turning back into the, the troll for the replicate. Now with that mischance, K1 cannot win the man fight. But there's another battle going on down to the south. Divide Lama with the supports. Attempt to deal with Mira. They're going to do so successfully. Troll buyback. Operation Kite Yatoro. And he is out. Attempting at a TP. There is no stuns to cancel it, however. Maposhka oh. also will look to escape. The bash is there. Divide Lama clips him at the buzzer. Yeah, run he up didn't to the get north. the bat Maposhka? Uh, I don't think you survived this, sir. Um, the Bash didn't connect on the most important target, though. He didn't co connect on the Morphling, so he manages to TP out. Still has that Aegis. 420 uh, extra seconds, though. It will die. Analog, top lane. Oh, what? the recall. No way. Again, K1, though, with a mischance. He's at least got the Epistle this time. Radiant don't have vital buybacks to be able to protect your Toro. Aegis about to it's expire. Five They're just going to wait. Oh, no. I mean, they can probably kill him a second time. What do they got? Hex is back up from Analog. Cookie to start as well from Schofield, perfectly placed. And now K1 as well. He's got all the further stacks he needs with the chain control. At least Yatoro has got a buyback, but this is a big opportunity for Heroic. The Morphling and then using Recall on the Troll. They're playing around this hero extremely damn well. 
That is a potential defense that Spirit can look for. Hey, once even gonna pop the BKB, wow. <laughs> It'll fall fast. They're gonna hear the roar, but they'll be too late, I think. Kisses oh, to snap, try to give snap. them the information. Yep. Collapse. Oh, what a hex! What a hex from Analog! No way! Collapse is gone. They're gonna be able to get no Collapse to fight. That is a huge pick off! And now Rosh is well K1. That win condition they had to potentially get in the dieback on Troll is not there for them now. What a reaction from Analog. You do have a Rapier on Morph. Maybe it's possible. Oh, that damage. Watch back potentially, lol. Hex once again from Analog. And now K1's going to be able to react in time. Battle no trades back. out. Lol is locked on. And without the Tiny, how are they going to be able to do a 3v5? 20 seconds until collapse. I guess it is, it looks like. Willow Wisp once again can be planted. Oh, he's in. Mary got Mary doesn't have buyback it's, too. It's so annoying and they don't have a way to deal with the Cygnus Fatus. Like, who goes in? Who has enough range? Lyle has got his timer back up in a couple of seconds, but he's just lacking the gold at the moment. He's going to respawn anyway soon. That bounty rune. Okay, one with the aggressive jump in. Collapse once again is going to be initiated on now with the Ignis Fatus. Or the AoE control collapse is gone again and he can't even get a spell off. Heroic. It took them a while, but Yatoru does not get him a single right click off with the rapier. 51 minutes in. Heroic will find the 2 0 over Spirit. Wow. Wow, congratulations to Heroic.